Here we are on Mikisuki Magazine TV on the Mikisuki Reservation to celebrate Women's Health Day. Follow me. Uh, my name is Cassandra Osceola. I'm the health director for the Mikisuki Health Department. Uh, this is an annual event that the health department hosts to um, do health screenings that are important for women. We do, um, you know, we want to catch anything like onset or to prevent diseases and illnesses. We are doing health screenings to um, catch um, or prevent diseases and. Um, illnesses and we do a random uh, blood sugars and heightened weight and uh, we even have free mammograms um, going on all day. Well we, um, when I first started in the health department in 1990 we were losing a lot of people from different types of cancers and we recognized that as a health issue for our tribe so we have increased our different types of screenings that we have available and the Women's Day um, it's just also to give um, education to the community members and to um, make them aware of these different health issues that they should know about. We have um, survivors now from breast cancer and different types of cancers. Before we didn't have anyone that survived cancer but now we do. I'm trying to help the patients to remember about taking remember to do their medications and some techniques to use to do that. So where are those kind of techniques to use? One of the ones that I tried here and that helped a little bit is putting an alarm on the phone. Uh, I set up the alarm for them, like if they have to take it in the morning to put it at like 8 and if they want to take it in the afternoon to put it before bedtime so that they can remember to. We're going to measure your oxygen concentration in your blood. Painless, painless, painless. One, two, three. It'll talk about how much oxygen is in the blood and how hard, how fast your heart is going. Hold on to this and look through it. Get it close to your nose. And I want you to read. What if I bring it really close? Still good? Yeah. Still good? Yeah. Still good? Yeah. Oh, it's nice to be young. Let's do it the other way. <laughs> old, old people can't do that. And your crazy eyes swallow me no more. Yeah, I'll tell you what I'm fighting for. Seven generations and more. My name is Leilani Finau originally from Ketchikan, Alaska, and I came out here to the Miccosukee Women's Health Day event with um, Waylon Mendoza, who's my partner in the band called Daisy Chain. Um, I, I played basketball my whole life, um, ever since, you know, elementary school, playing in leagues, all the way up through middle school, high school, college. I played college ball at Seattle University, and then um, played with a... Uh, um, a pro-am team. It's like an exhibition semi-pro team that plays in tournaments and um, exhibition games with colleges. So I've been an athlete my whole life and you know in determining what I want to do outside of basketball and music which really I couldn't imagine much else uh, but looked at um, a profession in, in training. I've uh, been doing it for about four and a half years now and it's working out pretty good. I definitely see the need um, for Native communities to improve health um, and activity levels. I mean, traditionally we're active people in all the different nations we have. There's sport, um, very active lifestyles, 
in nature, the way we you know, used to get food, harvest food, cultures, customs. Um, so it's kind of returning back to that in a sense because a lot of our, our traditional diets are much more nutritious than what people are eating right now. So um, you know, kind of bouncing all over. But basically, um, that's kind of how I got in the fitness industry. And um, I'm liking it a lot better than some of the desk jobs that I've had. I want to let younger people know, and um, you know, even you know, even older people, adults that have maybe gotten into some bad habits with, with fitness and nutrition, just remember we are fueling our body. You're fueling your body to do the activities that you like to do. Whether it's um, you know playing basketball or walking around the park or playing with your grandkids or playing, you know, playing on recess. Um, that's what we're doing. We're fueling our body. So kind of move away from just what tastes good. I think that um, as the caregivers of our families, the majority of women, we take care of um, not only um, the children, but um, usually the elders too, and in our whole families. So we have to start with ourselves. And I think that any any ethnic background, we may have different health issues, but it's the education and awareness and knowing where you are that I think that's very important for our survival.